makes sense even if it's just yeah. you know, 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars. Oh yeah, it's 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 like you said, it's a, you pay that much money for the house. Yeah. It's not real football. You lie. You pay that much for the house. Yeah. 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 There's nobody there, but still. Is he going down? I'm not saying I'm on chance. What time did you get? About 2.30 this morning. But I had to be up in Newcastle at 7. Yeah, you can Routine business. We have a motion to approve the minutes of the business meeting dated May 9th, 2022, as presented. Second. Second. Mrs. Secco with a second by Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Anyone on public discussion, Morris? No. May I have a motion to approve the agenda as presented? Second. So Mrs. Secco, do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. No public comment. Right. Mr. Fadden. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, last couple of weeks have been pretty busy with a lot of different things that we had, a lot of various celebrations. Um, our graduation ceremony at, at uh, Starlight. Starlight now because of the name. Yeah. Um, was a great success out there. Uh, we got it in just before the weather. Everything worked out perfectly out there. Um, we had various middle school award ceremonies that went really well. Um, end of the year was also exciting with the baseball team. Um, having the success that they had, um, the excitement that it had, and you could see the fan base growing and growing and growing as uh, the games got closer <laughs> for people to attend uh, as they progressed through the state playoffs. So, it was a good way to end the year. Uh, we got all our state testing done as necessary, um, but it was a, just a good way to end the year. Uh, a lot of positive things happened this school year, so thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fadden. Ms. Lazowski. We have our written report that we can pass this time. Thank you. Mr. Pushkar. Thank you. A couple of things. Uh, we had an executive session at the beginning of the meeting for um, legal reasons, and we will adjourn to executive session at the end for the annual school safety and security report. We won't be coming up back out uh, to vote. Um, as far as report, I echo what Mr. Uh, Fadden says. It was nice to close the year out, uh, almost feeling like normal. The whole month of May really made it feel like a normal school year. And hopefully, uh, that's what happens next year. Uh, you're going to vote on a few things this evening: the safety and security um, or the um, health and safety plan brief update you still have to do them. The state's not sure whether they're going to pull those back or not, but we have to, you have to review it every six months, and uh, so you'll do that. And then also the plan to allow us to still go the remote phase next year if we were to have to do that. There, the state is um, supposed to be taking a closer look at whether you should have used a fit day for that, weather related, or a remote day that's been approved. And I guess there were districts that did use one instead of the other because they hadn't gone in and approved for fit days. We are approved all the way up through next school year already to use the flexible instruction days. This will allow us to do uh, the other days as needed. Um, and then finally, I just want to acknowledge, um, just in a, in a public event, although you, you all did when you took the uh, resi or resignations for retirement, Mrs. Froats, Ankley, Valesco, McKee, English, and Ellis, there's over 200 and probably 30 or 40 years combined service to the district. Uh, certainly uh, wish them well and thank them for the years that they spent uh, with us uh, and with our students. That concludes my
my report. Thank you, Mr. Pushkar. May I have a motion to approve all administrative reports as presented? Second. Mrs. Seco, do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Budget and finance, Mr. Kuzier. 5.1, payment of bills. Number one, a motion to ratify the list of bills for June 22 as presented. That's a motion, do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Metallic. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Second motion for 5.1 is a motion to authorize administration to pay required invoices between June 14, 2022 and August 8, 2022 due to the length of time between meetings. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 5.2, a motion to accept the financial statement as presented and placed on file for audit. That's the May 2022 financial statement. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. 5.3 final budget. A motion to approve the final budget for 2022-2023 amount of $24,281,962, which constitutes a 0.5861 bill increase reflecting a tax increase as committed by law. Bill will be set at 13.339. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Price. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 5.4, motion to approve the resolution that Homestead and Farmstead Exclusion Real Estate Tax Assessment Reductions are authorized for the school year beginning July 1, 2022, under the provisions of the Homestead Property Exclusion Program Act and the Taxpayer Relief Act. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 5.5, a motion to authorize Peacock Keller LLP to enter into a stipulation to settle William J. Burke the third slash right aid number 3508 versus Washington County Board of Assessment at number 2020-6269 parcel number 0700230000301 for $1,510,200. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 5.6, a motion to permit the recycling of electronic waste to Upcycle LLC as presented at no cost to the district. Upcycle has, that, Upcycle has agreed to waive the fee to recycle the white waste. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Metallic. Any questions? Question. There's nothing we can do with the whiteboards. Aren't they really expensive to purchase? They're they're uh, kind of just the that old. They yeah. are old. Okay. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Five point seven. Motion to approve the 2022-2023 preliminary budget for the Western Area Career and Technology Center, totaling five million. $822,873 with Ferguson's share of $303,949, representing an increase of $27,467 from last year's contribution. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Section 6, Education, Mrs. London. Good evening. Under 6.1 Health and Safety Report, uh, nothing to report at the moment, uh, save for 6.4, which we'll discuss below. Uh, 6.2, the enrollment report is online on board docs. 6.3, the guidance newsletter is also available online <coughs> via board docs. 6.4, the health and safety continuity of education. Um, I'd like to make a motion to accept the review and revision of the Burgettstown Area School District Health and Safety Plan. The board directs the superintendent to post the version, version 3.0, of the plan on the district website and submit to the Pennsylvania Department of Education. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 
I'd like to make a motion to alter the academic schedule for the Burgettstown Elementary Center and Burgettstown Middle High School according to the presented information, whereas the World Health Organization has declared the current outbreak of COVID-19 a global pandemic, and whereas the Pennsylvania Department of Education has determined that the COVID-19 pandemic constitutes an emergency within the meaning of Section 520.1 of the Pennsylvania Public School Code of 1949 as amended, and whereas the school board, uh, school Board of School Directors of the Burgettstown Area School District has determined that the risks COVID-19 presents to our students, faculty, and community require an extraordinary response. Now, therefore, the board affirms and declares that the COVID-19 pandemic is an emergency within the meaning of Section 520.1 of the Pennsylvania Public School Code of 1949 as amended for the duration of said pandemic, but in no event for any period exceeding four years. The superintendent shall have the duty and authority to develop and revise as necessary a health and safety plan in a form and manner prescribed by the Pennsylvania Department of Education that ensures a minimum of 180 days of instruction, allowing for a minimum of 900 hours of instruction at the elementary level and 990 hours of instruction at the secondary level, employing, employing any combination of in-person, virtual, and distance learning as the superintendent deems appropriate to address the health and safety of students, faculty, and community, and the learning needs of the students. Such instruction shall comply in full with the requirement of Chapter 4 of the regulations of the State Board of Education and with the curriculum standards published in accordance therewith. The superintendent shall have the duty and authority to revise the instructional schedule as necessary. That is a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Taz. Any question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, 6.5 special education plan. I'd like to make a motion, please, to approve the 2021 through 2024 special education plan as presented. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 6.6 agreements. I would like to make a motion, please, to approve the agreements between Burgettstown Area School District and the entities noted as presented. Number one, the Educational Services Agreement with Intermediate Unit 1 beginning July 1, 2022 through June 30, 2023 for services provided according to the schedule of costs in Appendix A. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Price. Any questions? All in favor? Uh, uh, any opposed? Motion carries. Number two, with the affiliation agreement with Duquesne University from June 1, 2022 to June 1, 2027, pertaining to field placements, student teaching, and internships for students of Duquesne University. It's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Number three, with the letter of agreement for the outside in program with outside in school of experiential education for students treatment, student treatment and rehabilitation services. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Taz. Any question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. And number four, the independent contractor agreement with ARC Human Services Incorporated for student services. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Under 6.7, professional development, I would like to make a motion, please, to ratify the listed conference workshop as presented. Number 1A, Melissa Farinchua to attend Region 4 Spring Homeless Meeting at Seven Springs Mountain Resort in Champion, PA, May 17, 2022. Uh, costs for uh, transportation at $98.02 to be paid by Title II. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Number 2A, a motion to approve the listed conferences workshops as presented. Number, or letter A, W. Kaus, to attend Walton virtually on July, June 27th through the 30th, 2022. Total cost of $775. Cost to be paid by Title II. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Metallic. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Num uh, letter B, I'm sorry. Michelle Burton to attend safety care trainer research at Crown Plaza in, Wash in Pittsburgh, PA on July 12, 2022. 
Total co approximate cost $554.95 to be paid by Title II. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Letter C, Adriana Wallows to attend KTI Summit at Shippensburg University in Shippensburg, PA, July 25th through the 29th, 2022. Total cost, approximately $378.16 to be paid by Title II. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Is that Mr. Kuzier? It was. Mr. Kuzier, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. And letter D, Mara Schmidt to attend National Autism Conference at the Penn Star, uh, Stater Hotel and Conference Center in State College, PA, August 1st through the 4th, 2022. Total approximate cost, $961.54 to be paid by Title II. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 6.8, sanctioned school-related activities. I would like to make a motion, please, to approve the overnight trip for the varsity softball team to participate in the Ripken Experience in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee for approximately 15 student athletes, grades nine through 12, on March 30th through April 3rd, 2023, at no cost to the district with parent guardian permission. That's a motion, do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. 6.9 scholarships. I would like to make a motion, please, to ratify the Marla Dugas Pendeville Scholarship Memorial Scholarship as presented. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. And finally, for me, 6.10, the donation <laughs> disposal. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion to permit the donation disposal of the listed outdated items. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Personnel, Mr. Price. Personnel, 7.1 is the disclaimer. No action needs to be put in there. Uh, 7.2 deals with the presentations. Recommend the motion is to Number one, accept with regret the resignation of the following personnel. Uh, Stephanie Levicki, the bus driver, effective June 6, 2022. <coughs> and number two, accept with regret the resignation for the purpose of retirement of the following. Lloyd Duran, custodian, beginning <coughs> August 20th, 2022. That's a motion. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? No um, question. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I'm just wondering, do we know why the bus driver left? It's the second bus driver we lost in the last two months. This one, I believe, was one of the new ones and got hired by the Gatsumoto industry. Okay. How are we looking on bus drivers? We are, we'll be down four going into the year. Well, we'll be down four, but there's one that's a sub that will be a replacement, so advertising. Um, I noticed on the way here in um, yes. yeah, Langlock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought we were talking to Cheryl about that. Okay. Yep. Can we put a bigger bus in front of those? It's just usually a little one. <laughs> yeah, we bought the sign. We have a bus. Yeah. Uh, so. uh, By any chance, do you know off the top of your head how long has Lloyd been in station? I do not know. Mark. Yeah, no. I'm not sure. I'm just saying he's a fixture. If, if GGC is advertising, would we be able to call? Can um, there's not much we can do about our rate even if they're yeah. paying more because it's in the CBA. But, yeah, yeah, but just curious. Sure, I'll call. You guys, tell me look for a job. <laughs> 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 do you ever see that superintendent that's certified? No, certifiable or certified? No, they're certified. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're certified. <laughs> <laughs> you're certified to drive the bus. Well, I'll be driving. Seriously, though, I don't know. I'll call. 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 I'll any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. 7.3 is the additional compensation. The recommended action is to ratify the additional compensation items at the contractual rate of pay as presented. 
item number one that Adele, I'll just Adele, I won't read the names of extended school year program, June 13th to July 7th, Monday through Friday with no ESY on July 4th, 2022, that pertains to uh, individuals A through H. That's a motion. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Mrs. Okay. Secco, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number two is summer school cyber teachers, June 20th to July 29th, 2022, A through D. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. 7.4 leaves of absence. Recommended action the motion to. Rescind the previously approved unpaid days for Kathy Cross, teacher April 28th and May 2nd, 2022. That's a motion. It's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? Yes, question. What, what, why are we rescinding? What, what occurs now? There, there was a donation of days there last year. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number two is to ratify the listed leaves of absence as presented, A through I. That's a motion. It's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Secco. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number three is to approve the listed leave of absence as presented, employee number 097807 for unpaid FMLA as of August 22nd not to exceed 60 days, that's a motion. Motion, do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> item number 7.5 deals with substitutes. Item number one is a motion to ratify the substitute list for 2021-22 school year as presented. Item A is for teacher Catherine Robinson as of May 16, 2020, and item number B, Cheryl Christie as of June 2nd, 2022, as a motion. It's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 7.6 deals with volunteers for recommended action. The motion to approve. A listed volunteer has presented Russ Dysert as the volunteer football coach. That's a motion. I'm sorry. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Lemon. Any questions? All in favor? Uh, what Any I'm, opposed? Oh, I'm sorry. What is the. Junior high. Junior high. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Aye. Motion carries. <laughs> Section 8, Athletics and Related Activities, Mr. Metallic. Uh, section 8.1, the athletics report is available online. Uh, under Section 8.2, I'd like to make, to make a motion to approve the athletic trainer agreement between Novacare Rehab Team and Burgesson Area School District for athletic training services according to the terms and conditions presented. That's a motion. It's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Section 9, Transportation, Mr. Shulinski. Uh 9.1, Transportation Reports uh, can be found online. Thank you. Section 10, Buildings and Grounds, Mr. Burgoyne. 10.1, uh, the Buildings and Grounds Reports are listed online. 10.2, uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the lease of two classrooms, two blueprints for the 2022-2023 school year in the amount of 24000 for the pre-kindergarten and the Head Start programs, according to the presented lease agreements. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, second Mrs. Lemon. Any questions? Questions. Is that the same as last year? Yes. Okay. All, All, in fa oh, sorry. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I'd like to make a motion to continue services with the Community Services and Furlough into Services Agency with the Washington County Community Services regarding the FITS program. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Metallic. Any questions? 
I do. If you could please explain the FITS program and how it works for our district particularly. I understand what it is, but how do we use those individuals? Craig's using them in the uh, building grounds in the facilities. His custodian is looking for summer work. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, 10.4, motion to, rat this is a motion to ratify the acceptance of three trees for the elementary center playground donated by Star Lake Nursery and Melinda Bowling, teacher. That's a motion, do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Lemon, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. I have a question regarding the buildings and grounds. We got that email on June 15th, um, a survey, the facility concerns. Was that given just to board members or was that to? That'll go to the administrative team as well. Okay, I was just curious as to if you were just going to honor and put on that. No, on the buildings and grounds, it was to go to buildings and grounds, or the board members and to the administrative team. We, we can broaden that, I guess, if we. No, I, I was actually. Data. I don't know that no, no, because I was actually thinking that's opening a can of worms. I think the site logic and I think the team, buildings and grounds, they have a handle on what needs to be addressed and what needs to. I'm not on campus every day. I don't know. I can go by rumors, and I can go by. Well, that's why we just, yeah. yeah, I think you know, opening it up. That's what I was concerned about: is who yeah. all is getting that because you're opening a can of worms. Yeah. How, how the site logic project? How it's in quick updates for our uh, zone? The, the plans have been shared. There, the next phase yeah. is to put the air monitors in. Yes, sir. Yeah, the plans, and they're going through all the. Um, Receipts for utilities and everything got scanned. All the drawings they took to the school, they scanned everything into their system. They've been returned and the receipts and like Mr. Deep said, uh, before said next is doing your monitoring. Moving on. Do we have a, do we have a lot of drawings? Will we be able to locate? Do we have a lot of records? Because we were talking about the the roof and stuff, and we didn't know where that data went. I think we had the drawings. It's just a problem. I think it, that was. Another question on Phyllis Brown. What happened? I never heard the final um, conversation about the football team moving down here to practice and the baseball field being resodded. I, I don't know. I know Kevin was having a conversation with uh, Coach Marshall. I didn't even know where that went. Uh, there so is some. Yeah, it, it, it's done deal. There's some pushback trying to make some uh, concerns that the football team has addressed, but it's pretty much done. We're still planning to move forward with yeah. the practice happening behind at least for next year and the year after. Within the past week, I believe the uh, baseball, some of those divots and stuff got filled in, and there's grass seed planted. Yeah, it was yesterday. Was that yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So there's no plans to have practice up there. No, 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 no. no that was just after the season one to get get some dirt on for the outfield. Right. Yeah, but there's no plan. Right. The football team would be in the back. Yeah, we're going to be buying a building. I'm not building, but anything for them to. Shipping containers with Shipping containers. Containers. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a five thousand dollar yeah. yeah, the the concern that I that I received was, you know, there's a, a lightning storm, a quick lightning storm all of a sudden. They can we have access to the elementary school. It was the same thing with the first yeah. 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 so they can get in at any time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would happen. So as I said, there were just some concerns were brought up and yeah. they were just being addressed. That's fine. Has there been any more conversation regarding the track? Yeah, it's part of it is. It's an idea, so. Like I, I didn't know if that would be part of it, or is it just this building up here? No, it's no, it's all facilities of the school. So oh. then after that, after main thing once we get do get really going into it, then we'll begin with financing too to start. In their ways, opinion to start ranking. Yeah. Figuring out where money comes from. Any other questions? Section eleven, Western Area Career and Technology Center, Mrs. Seco. Um,
Thank you. Our, our calendar matches theirs this year, I think. We'll, we'll just start dating and stuff. Start okay. Yeah, yeah, for the most yeah, it's part. Really there's only there's a day or so. Yeah, yeah, there's a few here and there, but it's but a lot better than it has been in the past. Yeah. And so, I tell you, having us as morning makes a huge difference for the students. It really has. And one thing I think a lot of people don't understand or realize with any student that goes to Western area, homeschools always work with Western area. So if you have a football player or cheerleader or somebody that is involved in different activities, that doesn't mean that you can't participate in those activities at your home school. So if you are going away on a baseball thing or a tournament or what have you, even if it's academic at the home school, you're still excused from Western area to stay at your home school to do those things. A lot of people think that they're going to miss out on the pep rallies or they're going to miss out on the trip or they can't leave on a certain time. There's all those accommodations are made for all students, no matter what time they attend. Section 12, food service, Mr. Kuzier. 12.1, food service report is available at board docs. 12.2, food service management company contract, a motion to accept the food service management company renewal year cost. Let me start over. A motion to accept the food service management company renewal year cost reimbursable contract between BASD and Aramark Educational Services LLC beginning July 1, 2022 through June 30, 2023 as approved by PDB. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Burgoyne. Any questions? What year are we on this? This is the last year of the garage door. Yeah, it, 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 it's a long document that's in there, so if you didn't scroll all the way down, the estimated loss for this next year is Dream is to break even. Yeah, yeah and all the, all the federal programs that were available due to COVID are, are done. Unless something pops up. There's 10 days. 10 days are going to be done. So, yeah. And then yeah. the 30th, right? Yeah. The 30th. Yeah. The 30th. Yeah. Unless there's it's something just on that the comes news down today. to fight, but, but yeah. according, yeah. according to our food yeah. service director, he doesn't, doesn't, doesn't know of anything. So. Nice. so, all the reimbursements we received last two school years are gone. Yeah. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye, aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 12.3 Blueprints Meal Service Agreements, a motion to approve the meal service agreements for the Blueprints Pre Kindergarten and Head Start program for the 2022 2023 school year as presented. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second, Mrs. Lemon. Any questions? All in favor? Aye, aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Student discipline, Mrs. Secco? Nothing to report. Policy, Mr. Taz. Old business, new business. Anyone? I think the board would like to extend their deepest sympathy, sympathies to Mr. Donnie Gray's family. He served as a board member for 40 years in our district in addition to serving the community as both a volunteer fireman and a policeman. And we extend our deepest sympathies. Um, legislative, Mr. Metallic. Nothing to add. Anything else? May I have a motion to adjourn? Second. Mrs. Secco, we have a second. Second, second Mr. Burgoyne. Thank you all. Seriously, why is it that commission? I'm getting ready for a forward punch. <laughs> 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 we got a few months.